my blow up. All right, so we're just headed back right now from the uh, paint and body shop. We got the lawnmower put back together, and I picked up a lawnmower for it and a rototiller. So that's pretty cool. So we're just headed back to the farm right now to uh, do a couple things here. And we're going to go look at a new vehicle because I need something just running around. And the, the Chevy is a bit hard on fuel, so I just need something just running around and pulling a small trailer. Pretty much whatever. So we're going to go take a look at that uh, after we get this lawnmower unloaded. And yeah, I'll see you guys when we get back to the farm. Alright, so we're just pulling back in here. Now, my plan is for today, for the lawnmower, is uh, we're going to be probably making a garden here. Uh, I kind of want to do one just for fun here in the backyard. thought it would be a, a cool idea. So we're going to actually, I need to unfold the ramps here. I think we should be good to go now. But... I wanted to make a uh, a garden in the backyard here. I think it'd be pretty cool. So we're probably gonna get started on that today. All right, that did get hung up a little bit there, but we're gonna take this into the shop here and we're gonna drop the mower deck. All right, right about here should be good. All right, there we go. Now I haven't showed you guys this thing yet. This is this is the Case Lawn Garden Tractor. I guess Lawn Mower Garden Tractor, whatever you want to call it, that uh, we found in the backyard there, and we pretty much took it all apart. Got all the body and everything, put new tires on it. Everything's redone on it, like literally everything. We put a new motor in it. We had to get all new belts for it. We had to get a new transmission. Pretty much everything is replaced on this thing, but it's an awesome little tractor now. Super excited to have it. And then I bought this rototiller for it so we can uh, make a garden. And then as well as this lawnmower, which we're actually going to have to use both of them today. So, But before we do that, uh, I'm going to go pick, or at least not pick up probably, but look at this new vehicle we we might pick it up depending i'm pretty sure we are i looked at it it looks like a really good deal but uh, we're gonna jump back in the chevy here go down there take a look at it should be pretty darn cool now i've been thinking on something for a while i can do farming and i can still i still seem to be able to do a lot of projects for uh, restoration so i was thinking of possibly clearing a spot and building a restoration shop dedicated for restoration stuff now it'd be pretty expensive, but I think it'd be worth it because I, I have lots of extra time if I'm like, I got everything seated, all the seating's done, and I figured it'd be pretty cool to uh, set one up. So uh, let me know in the comments if I should, because I really kind of want to, and I feel like it'd be a cool, fun idea for uh, for the farm for sure. As well as starting up a cattle operation, I do very much plan so to uh, do that. And okay, no cop, no stop, boys. We ripping through it. Oh, and update on the Massey Ferguson loader there. Uh, I went, took a lot of it apart. Uh, the engine, I haven't got it running yet. I haven't got a chance to start it up, but it should, like everything should be good on it. It just needed a couple parts replaced, a couple things fixed up on it, but it's gonna be super cool. I think I'm gonna get the body redone for it and uh, we'll get all that done. I think it's gonna be super cool. But I will see you guys when we get to the farm. Alright, so this should be the place here. I was looking at this thing online, and it's a really good deal for what it is. Super excited to look at it. I, I talked to the guy already. He said it just should be in this red shed here. And uh, we're going to go and take a look at it. Let's open her up. Ooh, there she is. There she is. This thing's looking... Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, this thing is awesome. It's got, uh, it's lifted, it's got uh, mud tires on it. It's got a snow plow mount for if we want to uh, do some snow plowing for the winter. That might be pretty darn handy. And it's a fully done up Bron Ford Bronco. Uh, I forget the year. Uh, let me check my text here. All right, so this is a 1978 Ford Bronco. This thing is all done up. I want to take a look at it in the inside. Wow, the interior is absolutely mint in this thing. The guy kept it super clean. I kind of almost hate to use this if I'm going to buy it for a for a work vehicle, but it won't be more of a work vehicle. It'll be more of a, a running around vehicle. I guess I should uh, open it up and check out the, the back of it. All right, so here's the back of it. It looks really good. It looks, is that a gooseneck kit? Okay, I think that's just for the uh, for the back seat there. It's got, oh man, it's got a shovel mount, and it's got an axe mount. Wow, that's pretty cool. That is really cool, but yeah, this thing's no rust whatsoever. Like, you don't find these things in Alberta at all. Like, at all. 
like this. So this was kind of a more of a more of a restoration, I think. The guy uh, completely redid it. He uh, fixed all the body. I don't think the body actually had any rust off of it. I think he must have got it somewhere in the U.S. where they don't get any snow or anything. But uh, I'm going to go talk to the guy, see if we can work out a deal. I want this thing, though. I think it's going to be super cool. Well, we worked out a deal. Super excited. This thing is going to be awesome. The guy wanted actually a pretty decent price for it, but uh, we got the keys for it. Oh, man. Okay, I just want to I just want to listen to that startup sound one more time. Let's uh, let's start it up again. Oh, oh yeah, this thing is awesome. Yeah. All right, let, I think I want to take it for a quick drive first. Look at this beast. Oh, all right. Well, we're gonna load it up on the trailer here. Is this thing even gonna fit on the trailer? I'm not 100% sure. I guess we're gonna see here um oh yeah it should it should if it doesn't we'll be uh, driving it home and then we'll have to come get someone to give us a ride and uh, pick our truck back up oh man just barely I think all right I think that's gonna be good here we'll just shut this thing off here yeah with inches like oh yeah <laughs> this thing barely barely fit on with those big mudding tires but I'm really happy it did because oh man this Guys, this thing is this thing awesome. If you guys don't know, this was made by uh, David Fructuso, uh, the guy I did a video on his truck not too long ago. Um, he uh, it was a Ford F one fifty, I believe it was uh, a nineteen something, nineteen seventies, whatever, whatever it was. Anyway, he met his goal for his PC, so he's working on all this stuff now. And uh, this was the first mod he turned out. This thing's awesome, guys. So uh, it was, it's in Expendables, and I believe it's uh, uploaded everywhere. So if you guys want to go check it out, I do recommend you go to Expendables, though. That's the best place to get it. But yeah, guys, awesome work by all those guys over there at Expendables. All right, well, I I think you guys, some of you guys might be a little disappointed that we're not keeping it all Chevy for the series. But uh, I, I really, I saw this thing, and I was like, yep, I got to have it. So uh, this is our new beast here. Um, this thing's going to be for, like... Pretty much just running around where we might use it for towing a little bit here if we end up getting another trailer or something for it but uh, I, I really want to leave this thing just as mint as possible like running out to the field that's maximum I think uh, of what we're gonna be doing but I'm gonna head back to the farm and I'll see you guys when we get there all right so we're just pulling back into the yard here and then we're gonna probably unload this thing and then uh, get rototill in the garden here I almost clipped that that was very close I should watch what I'm doing more but yeah, guys, I'm super happy with my purchase here. This thing's going to be awesome for running around and uh, getting things done. I think it's going to be a little nicer than uh, the truck here. Just because it's not going to burn as much fuel, which will be good. So uh, we can shut her off here and then get this thing off loaded. Oh, yeah. Listen to that thing. Start. Yep. This thing sounds awesome. Starting up every single time. All right. Let's, let's back it off here. There we go. I think, actually, personal opinion, one of the coolest vehicles to come to Farm Sim yet, guys. This thing's highly detailed. Very awesome, guys. At Expendables did an amazing, amazing job on this thing. Very happy with it. So I was thinking about this restoration place. Now, I, I already picked out a shop in mine. And I think if I was, about, if I was going to build it, I think I would probably build it right around here. Kind of close to my house. Sort of. A little bit. And then uh, we have like the front entrance right here, and then you just kind of like if you want to drive right in here, you can. And uh, so basically to do that, we'd have to cut down a bunch of trees here. I would uh, have to get a bulldozer in to push down a lot of the trees, pile them up, probably burn them eventually. And then I'd have to uh, flatten out the land here, and uh, I have to do a lot of landscaping. But I think it would be super cool. So let me know in the comments what you think I should do. Also, let me know what you think of the Bronco here. This thing's awesome. And uh, we're going to get going on making a garden here. So we're going to grab the case lawn tractor here. And uh, we're going to mow out a patch here quick. And then uh, we can probably rotor till that after. All right. So uh, we're going to be throwing back on the mower after I took it off. Which I don't know why the heck I did. But all right. So I think I'm going to drop this rotor tiller right about here. And then uh, we're going to get mowing out a patch here for this thing. Drop her down here. There we go. All right, so I'm not thinking anything too crazy, just uh, big enough that uh, it's going to be good, good enough size here. Nothing too crazy. All right, so I think I'm going to call that good there. That should be uh, a big enough patch for us there. 
And I think I'll drop back off the mower here because we don't really need it on the tractor. Speaking of mowers, actually, I think today as well, I was talking to the dealership and they have a rhino mower in there for us for uh, mowing our lawn because we need something a little bigger than, uh, than the average little garden tractor size lawn mower here. So we're going to drop this thing down here. Okay, I think we're going here. There we go. Now I want to go nice and easy here because I don't want to go... Really want to be going too fast. Just take it nice and easy. And uh, we'll probably go over it a second time there. Don't want to... Don't want to go over it too fast and not break up, break up the ground enough. Alright, so it seems to be breaking up the ground here pretty darn good. It's not taking too long. I'm going to go over it a second time just to make sure it's... Uh, really good there and uh, we're not gonna have to have any problems with with it not being broken up enough and then I'm thinking we're gonna plant some uh, corn and maybe some sunflowers probably just corn here probably just me some sweet corn have me some nice sweet corn for when we have barbecues and stuff it's gonna be really good but man first day we have this thing uh, fully functional and uh, it's already serving its purpose it's great super uh, glad I I decided to take time and money to restoring this thing it's pretty cool all right so a quick little question I just want to address here that a lot of you guys have been asking me in the comments here how do I get my equipment so it's like so I get them how like the bond finds are here and um, basically I just use GE um, which is giants editor and if you if you look uh, you can you can find out how to do it it's not very hard but uh, that's how I get the equipment looking like it does. All right, so we got the first round finished here. I'm gonna get going on a, a second, second kind of pass over here just to get the ground all broken up a bit more, and then uh, that should be good here. And then we're probably gonna seed some corn and uh, possibly some sunflowers. All right, so I think we're gonna be good here. Just shut our rototiller off here. And we should be good to go. And I'm going to hook back up the, uh, the lawnmower deck there. And then we're going to park this back in the shop there. And then uh, we can probably get seating here. Alright, so we're going to park this right about back here. That should be good. But I actually just remembered something. Uh, the store that I need to go get the sweet corn from and uh, the sunflowers is unfortunately closed for renovation today. So, um, yeah... I guess, in that case, we're going to grab the case here, one of the cases at least, and uh, we're going to go into town here and pick up the uh, the Rhino lawnmower, or I guess the Rhino bush hog, or wh whatever you want to call it, whatever uh, whatever suits your fancy, and uh, we're going to be picking up that up, shouldn't take too long, I just want to get something so uh, we don't have to worry about the lawn very much, and we can just mow it very easily, but I'll see you guys when we get to town. All right, so here's our mower that we're picking up. It's a nice used Rhino. It's uh, got doesn't have uh, too many hours put onto it. Not much work. Uh, they just put a set of new blades on it for us. It was a couple grand, but I think it's gonna be worth it because we need something to clean up the yard with a bit. All right, so we're just pulling back into the yard here. I think I'm actually gonna start mowing right here because I want to get this all cleaned up and looking real good. Get it unfolded here. All right, so we don't have much right here, but uh, getting over to uh, by the semis here, we have a good bit of uh, grass to mow. This thing seems to be working pretty good. No issues. Well, I mean, we just bought it, and they, they the dealership had to go over it before uh, they could sell it to us because it is a piece of used equipment, so they did have to uh, go over it, make sure it's all good to sell because they don't want to sell us a junk piece of equipment here. Um, I think... This auger is what I'm going to have to actually, like, get the mower for. Is, uh, the little lawnmower is to get around that. And, uh, go in there a little bit more because I can't really get into it right now. So, we'll have to do that eventually. Alright, so unfortunately when mowing, um, this mower cannot get rid of those bushes. So, uh, we're just going to be mowing back here. And, uh, it's going to leave those bushes, unfortunately. Of course, I will eventually, uh, rip out those bushes here. Uh, just as of right now, I'm a little bit busy, so uh, that'll be probably next summer's project, if not uh, sometime this fall. But uh, this seems to go pretty quick. You just need a big enough mower because uh, with that little ride on there, it would have took literally forever. It would have probably took me the entire day, if not the entire episode, just to be able to mow 
So uh, I kind of want to keep it interesting for you guys. I love this case tractor. Unfortunately, it causes lag in multiplayer, but luckily we are not in multiplayer, so it works pretty darn awesome. All right, so back here by the house here, I'm probably just going to leave most of this for the uh, for the ride on there. and then Because uh, it's just a little bit too tight in there for me to get in there with the Batwing. If you guys could not tell, I am slightly losing my voice, so uh, sorry about that. Uh, it just kind of sucks, but you got to roll with the punches here. And I love making content for you guys, so I'm going to keep doing it until I literally can't talk anymore. So, uh, unfortunately, this rhino mower uh, leaves a bit of a grass trail, but uh, it'll once it rains, it'll kind of all go away. Missed a little bit there. I want to get that. All right, so we mowed all of that back there. Now we've got this little bit here, and then we've got over there, and then just kind of this little bit over here. And then uh, this only takes, should take about an hour maximum. It's, it's not that not that big of a yard so but if it, we were on the ride on it would probably take like four or five for sure all right so this part back here is all done now so we're gonna go over here and uh, get this part done and then after that that part and then around behind the shop over there and then we should be good unfortunately this lawnmower gets dirty very very fast so it kind of looks it looks really junky when you're starting to mow but it seems to be doing good work so uh, I'm not complaining all right so we're just taking a pass here along the edge Getting this all nice and cleaned up. Making the roadway look good. But if you guys are enjoying the videos, please do drop a like. It really helps out. And uh, lets me know you guys are liking the series. Alright, last little bit here. And then uh, we should be good to go for this end. And then we got a little bit over there. I gotta move that Bronco as well. Uh, I'm probably gonna move that after. We'll probably actually do that part the very last. Just get this little bit here. Alright, there we go. And then uh, we'll do that part back there, and then we'll move the Bronco, and then we'll do that part. All right, so we're just doing the last little bits here by the gate. Want to get it all nice and done here so it looks all good. Want to present our farm very nice, of course. All right, last little bit here, and uh, we're done. This didn't take very long with this uh, new Rhino mower. Works pretty darn good. I'm going to fold her up here, and I think we're going to pull up right behind the cedar here and give it a quick wash off. Cause it's pretty darn dirty. The mower was the actual thing that got the dirtiest. Of course. The case is all, all pretty much nice and clean. For the most part there. Alright, there we go. I'm going to call that good. Well guys, this is going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, please drop a like. It really helps out. And if you're new, do consider subscribing. And yes, yeah, so uh, we bought we bought ourselves a new Bronco. And uh, I'm considering starting up a... Starting up a restoration shop. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of that. And I will see y'all in the next one.